Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Drupal Studios channel. Today I'm going to be quickly covering how to make a really simple and nice jump system in Scratch. So the first thing we want to do is make sure all your sprites are set up. I'm just going to be using the default sprite for this one. And we're going to be doing this on the character sprite. So you want to make sure you've got your character sprite. Mine is just the default cat. And first thing we want to do is go to the events tab. And we want to grab a when green flag clicked. And then we want to get straight to motion and go to a go to zero zero. This means it will just center our character right in the middle or obviously you might want to change this wherever your character is. The next thing you want to do is go to the variables tab. I'm just going to delete the my variable and make a new one. You can just rename it. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to be calling this velocity and then dash uh, Y. I'm going to be clicking OK and it will be for all sprites and it won't be a cloud variable. Hit OK, click the untick. I just want to drag a set Y velocity to zero block here. This will just make sure that the velocity is zero when we start so there's no errors or anything when we start programming. Next thing we want to do is grab a forever block, drag that in there and we want to grab a if then and another if then and put the second if then in the first if then then we want to go back to variables and we want to grab a change y velocity by one here and we just want to change this from a positive one to a negative one and then we want to go to motion again change y by drag that in variables and just drag the y velocity into there this will just mean that our character will constantly fall so if we click play as you can see our character just falls constantly. The next thing we want to do is go over to choose a sprite and we just want to make sure that we've got a ground sprite. So as you can see here, we're just going to whack that in the middle. I'm just going to center that to zero and then minus 300 just so it's right at the bottom like so. And I'm going to go to the cap tab here. I'm just going to go to looks and I'm going to say go to front layer. We don't have to drag that in, we can just double click it in the hierarchy here. And it'll activate the code and it will work. So the next thing we want to do is go to the sensing, grab a touching block, put that in the first if then, but we want to change mouse pointer to sprite two. I am going to change this sprite two to ground. Go back to the main character and as you can see it's just renamed it. So the character is now being told to sense if it's touching the ground or not. Uh, the next thing we want to do is go to motion once again. We want to grab a change Y by, shove that in there. And I want to go to operators, grab a times by, um, shove that in the change Y, duplicate this Y velocity here. And we want to change this to negative one as well. But because it's constantly changing by negative one and it's being times by negative one, if you ch times a two negatives together, they make a positive. So when, when it's touching the ground, they will cancel each other out. But as you can see right now, the character starts floating. That is an issue we will fix now. So then to, in order to fix that, what we want to do is go to variables and we just want to set the y, the y velocity to zero. However, now we want to now make it so the character can actually jump. So what we want to do is go to sensing Go to key pressed, key space. I'm going to use the space bar to tell the character to jump. You can use whatever key you want. And all we need to do is go over to the variables tab one last time, grab a set Y velocity, and we, this will be the jump height. So I'm just going to pick 15 because 15 is quite a nice number, as you can see here. And if we wait a little bit, the character won't start floating. However, if we click jump or the space bar to jump, the character jumps in a nice fluid manner as well. And that is how to make a simple jump system in Scratch. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.